नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन फाइंड आउट क्रेडिटर्स टर्न ओवर रेशियो और क्रेडिटर्स दैट इज वेलोसिटी हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द क्रेडिटर्स आर गेटिंग रोटेटेड इन अयर एन एवरेज पेमेंट पीरियड और द क्रेडिट पीरियड दैट से वी गेट वी हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड विद ओपनिंग क्रेडिटर्स क्लोजिंग क्रेडिटर्स एंड कैश पेड टू द क्रेडिटर्स इज गिवन ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट आंसर ऑन योर ओन सो फ्रेंड्स ओवर हियर ओपनिंग क्रेडिटर्स इज गिवन क्लोजिंग इज गिवन so based on that so the average can be calculated 55000 okay 50 plus 60 real by 2 however the purchase information is not given so we'll prepare a working note to calculate the purchase so i request all of you to write down answer working note number 1 calculation of annual credit purchase it will be found like this closing balance is equal to opening balance plus purchase minus collection the closing balance is 60000 opening balance is 50000 purchase we do not know minus collection is i'm sorry minus payment i'm sorry minus payment amount of the payment is 265000 so purchase will be found as balance in figure and then creditors turnover ratio so purchase is equal to 60000 Plus two lakh sixty five thousand minus fifty thousand. Answer is two lakh seventy five thousand. Next is creditors turnover ratio. it will be formed like this annual credit purchase divided by average creditors annual credit purchase is 2 lakh 75000 divided by average creditors that is opening creditors plus closing creditors into 1 by 2 so 275 divided by opening creditors is 50000 closing is 60000 into 1 by 2 So two seventy five upon fifty five. That comes to five times. Please write an answer. Next is average payment period. In that once again, there are two methods by which you can do answer. in the first method it is 360 days divided by creditors turnover ratio three sixty days divided by five times so the answer is 72 days or otherwise 360 days divided by 
annual credit purchase. into average creditors so 360 days upon annual credit purchases 275 into average creditors is 55 so the answer is 72 days This is the way we can calculate the answer. So over here, so first of all we compute the annual credit purchase, then we make the calculation of the creditors turnover ratio. Again you can understand that so the purchase is of the entire year and creditors is as on date. So for the balance sheet item we will take average and then average payment period is found. 360 days divided by creditors turnover ratio or otherwise 360 days divided by purchase into average creditors. 